Welcome back to the Edward News Countdown. The silver lining perhaps in this election, party affiliation aside, might be that growing numbers of people are hoping, desperately hoping, for a little more bipartisan cooperation among their congressional representatives. This afternoon, I spoke to New Jersey Congressman Josh Gothheimer, a moderate Democrat who on Tuesday won his fourth term representing the 5th District of New Jersey. And stopping the vitriol and making Americans' lives better was very much top of mind. Congressman, what's your take on the midterm elections? and the results. Well, obviously, uh, very happy with how things turned out here in Jersey and, and around the country. You know, I think this was election came down to uh, basically a fight between common sense and extremism. I think common sense won. Uh, those who were really, and, and you know, what we've been focused on is actually getting things done. And, you know, we had a good record uh, fighting to help people. And I, I think people said, I don't want, the, I don't want the, the extremism. I want someone who's actually going to get stuff done and solve problems for us. Well, common sense is something that the country needs. I think people on both sides of the aisle would agree to that. People everywhere would agree to that. Most people would agree to that. Um, it's interesting that, uh, you know, the, all the numbers are not in yet, Congressman, but it, it looks like, you know, Republicans are going to take over the, uh, the House anyway. And you would view that as a victory because it was barely enough to get them the majority. Yeah, I mean, it's early. We'll see what happens in the next, right, these next few days. Um, but, but either way, it's going to be tight, right? And, yeah. and I think the good news for the country uh, is you're going to need people to work together uh, to, to get things done for them, to fight for them, right? This is not going to be, uh, you know, a bunch of loud people screaming from the wings. You know, it, it, to, to govern, we're going to have to sit at the table together, Democrats and Republicans, which frankly is what I think people want, right? Uh, whether you're talking about fighting crime and supporting police um, uh, or making sure we get that infrastructure built, um, people uh, want just common sense. And the only way we're going to be able to govern is by sitting down and talking together. It has been a downhill sloping degree of changes over the last 20 years with people not sitting down and really talking to each other. And in the last few years, it's gotten worse. Um, you think it's possible? I mean, what people don't realize uh, that often come with me and say, hey, all people do is yell and tweet and uh, scream at each other, like cable news. Uh, the truth is, if you look at the last year and a half, uh, we got a bipartisan infrastructure bill done to help can help build the gateway train tunnel, right, and fix our roads and bridges here in the in the tri-state. Uh, uh, common sense, bipartisan bills support our veterans, you know, get their backs who are exposed to toxic chemicals. A, a bill to actually uh, build chips here in the United States so we can stand up to the Chinese government, um, who I think are our real enemy here, right, to actually build stuff in the United States again. Right, a bipartisan gun safety bill done. Work, working together. Um, we got a police bill that just passed out of the House to fund law enforcement, not defund, right? That was all done by, in a bipartisan way. So the truth is we have gotten a lot done, uh, but all people focus on is the noise. Uh, so, so I'm optimistic that in a tight, in a, right, in a tight Congress like this, a tight Senate, we will get more done for people. We just did a bill at the end to lower the cost of prescription drugs for, for families and for seniors. So, you know, listen, it's on us to let people know what we got done. It's now on us to keep working together. Lowering prescription drug prices is, is not a Republican or Democratic party issue. It is an American issue. And that's there's no question about that. There, there are a lot of people who I think look at the record and they say, OK, you know, things did get done. We, a lot of people disagree with them, but at least it, they got done. And, and the question is, can we have the situation where people are disagreeing with each other without shouting, without vitriol, without all these negative ads we saw, although it wasn't election season. We saw plenty of negative ads. Yeah. Where, how far do we have to go on this and segueing into the changes happening in this country vis-a-vis -vis the Republican Party and the last president we had, it does seem that the Republican Party is trying to move away, trying to break away uh, from, from the Trump specter of all this. Maybe not from Trumpism, but at least the specter of one candidate. Well, they're going to have to break away from the extremism because, right, and, and from what they were peddling, whether it's not believing in elections or um, what happened around January 6th, right, that, that's not a winning, winning formula. Um, people, as you just said, want uh, folks who get stuff done for them. And, you know, the, the real—now the, the way 
and this is just my opinion, I believe the success for either party is can you actually sh work together and show people that we can get things done? I co-chair a group called the Problem Solvers Caucus with 29 Democrats and 29 Republicans. We do something that I know people think may be nuts. We get together every week we're in Washington and talk about the 80 percent where we agree versus the 20 percent where we disagree. And that's how we help negotiate a lot of these bills and get done. I think people, when I talk to folks, they want more of that. They don't want people insulting each other and screaming at each other. And, and listen, the party that figures this out, uh, I believe, will, will win.